Hey guys, it's Carson Miller Tech here, back from another video. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about something that came out on December 18th of 2020, and that is in regards to DJI. They were put on the United States Department of Commerce's entity list. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about exactly what that means for you and I as consumers of DJI drones, whether or not DJI drones are truly banned in the United States right now because of this, as well as what this means for DJI in the future for us and for them as far as their future products go. So with that being said, let's get right into the video. So to start, essentially what this means with DJI being on this entity list is that they were found to be a national security concern by the government in the United States, which led to them being put onto this entity list. And specifically in this filing, it was said that DJI was put onto the list for quote, enabling wide scale human rights abuses within China through abusive genetic collection and analysis or high technology surveillance. This entity list is the same list that another Chinese company, Huawei, was placed on back in May of 2019, which resulted in pretty much all of their devices no longer being available on the US market. One of the biggest changes that resulted from them being placed on the entity list was that they were no longer allowed to use Google's Android OS on any of their phones or devices, which was a pretty big downside. And they had to go out and write their own OS called Harmony OS that now runs on their phones and devices. And two years later now, it's pretty difficult to get your hands on Huawei devices, mostly because stores aren't selling them and a lot of carriers don't even support their devices on their network. So with that in mind, how does this placement of DJI on this entity list really affect them? Well, before getting that, I do want to first mention that DJI did not initially come out and say anything in regards to them being put onto this list. But then a couple of days later on December 22nd, they did come out with a public statement that said, quote, DJI has done nothing to justify being placed on the entity list. We have always focused on building products that save lives and benefit society. DJI and its employees remain committed to providing our customers with the industry's most innovative technology. We are evaluating options to ensure our customers, partners, and suppliers are treated fairly. And although they have come out and said this statement, it does not appear at this point on December 30th of 2020 that that statement has changed anything. So time will really tell as far as what this will do for DJI, but it will be interesting to see as far as if DJI is able to do anything that would sway the US government to go and get them back off of this list, whether they can prove that they have not had any human rights violations or anything like that. But it would be interesting to see considering TikTok recently was banned from app stores for a short period of time, but then was put back. So, you know, maybe DJI is able to go and get themselves off of this list like TikTok was. Anyways, the only real way that DJI being placed on this entity list and the way that it will affect them is in their supply chain. Specifically in their enterprise line of drones, they have included FLIR imaging sensors on those drones in the past and FLIR is a US based company. And if you've never heard of them, basically they make thermal sensors that are great for going and being able to see thermal imaging and drones have been gaining that technology and DJI has been using that for quite some time. But this is one of the things that I see DJI has kind of already overcome with their recent release of the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced Drone, which came with their own line of thermal imaging. So this was no longer even a collaboration between FLIR. It is DJI's completely own sensor. So I don't see this one being a huge issue because in their future enterprise drones, they can just go and include their own thermal technology without having to rely on FLIR. Another way though, that could be a little bit more severe as far as DJI's product line is with their smart controller. Their smart controller currently runs Android OS as the operating system on it. And so I can see this one being pretty bad because DJI will no longer be allowed to use that Android OS operating system similar to how Huawei was not allowed to on their devices. But one of the things that came out of Huawei being placed on this entity list was that they were allowed to still go and release security patches for their older devices that were released prior to May 2019 and anything after that was no longer allowed to use Google's OS. So I'm seeing this probably gonna be pretty similar with the DJI's case where the smart controllers that have already been made those will be allowed to just remain with the Google Android OS and you won't really have any issues. They'll be able to release security updates and patches for that. 
but it won't be able to have any newer updates really. And then anything past that will be interesting to see because DJI will more than likely have to go and either write their own OS that will run their apps or they'll have to go and get approved, which is possible where they'll be able to go and work with Google and there won't be any issues or conflicts since they're on this entity list. Approval for Google to work with DJI here and allow them to still use their Android OS on the smart controller is something that I could see happening though, at least more favorably for DJI rather than Huawei's case. Huawei did go initially and try to get approved to work and use Google's Android OS still, but they were denied. Whereas in DJI's case, it's still not great. They were put on the list for human rights violations, but they weren't put on the list for surveillance of US citizens. So that is uh, something that could be a bit more of a positive for them if they go and try to get approved to continue using Android OS. Between these two potential issues, the overall impact of DJI being on this entity list does not at all mean that they are overall outright banned in the United States. In fact, it's still perfectly legal for you to go out and fly your DJI drones Initially, when the story first broke, a lot of rumors went out and people were thinking that DJI drones were just outright banned. And so my use of ban throughout this video was not necessarily the right word to use, but I was using it because that's what a ton of other people have been saying. And it is still perfectly all right to go out and purchase new DJI drones and you can fly them around if you continue to own them. In fact, big name retailers such as Apple, Target, Walmart, Best Buy, Amazon, all of those are still selling DJI drones. They haven't taken down their signage or listings or anything like that. So do not at all be worried about purchasing DJI drones. It's perfectly legal to still do and it still will continue to be legal to do even into the future. This impact is really just on DJI not being able to use US resources to make their drones and they can't go and get technology from the United States and put that into their drones. From what I heard in Billy Kyle's The DJI Ban Breakdown video with Ken Dobo, it does not at all sound like this restriction will affect retailers in the United States as far as selling DJI drones go. I'm really not too worried about DJI being taken down from these stores, so I don't think you should be either. Another thing that I'm interested in seeing though is if DJI will be able to work with the government still in the United States as far as remote ID goes. Remote ID is right around the corner and remote ID is something that will have to be implemented hardware wise. So if DJI isn't able to go and interact with the US government and get information about what they have to include for remote ID, it brings up the question of whether or not future DJI drones will eventually be illegal in the United States to fly if you're not flying them with that remote ID in them. And we're gonna just stop me right there because literally a couple hours after I shot this video, of course, information came out about DJI actually responding to recent remote ID information. And it sounds like it's positive and that DJI will still be able to comply as far as remote ID goes. So that should not be a worry whatsoever as far as future DJI drones go and remote ID. But with that being said, one final thing that I saw being talked about online is what does this placement mean for the DJI Fly apps and DJI Go apps out on the Google Play and Apple app stores? Will those get removed and taken off the app stores like TikTok was? No. Uh, from what I've found, I haven't been able to find any concrete evidence on this, but generally it does not appear that those apps will be removed from the App Store because there are still a number of Huawei apps out on the Google Play and Apple App Stores. So just because they're placed on the entity list as well does not mean that they're not allowed to have their apps out there. So I don't see that as being an impact as far as them being able to have those apps on the App Stores. With that said, that is pretty much it for this video. That's pretty much all the information I've got. I do wanna say if you are watching this after January of 2021, you may wanna go and check out some other resources online as more of this news may have come out. I personally highly recommend checking out Drone DJ, which was the first publication to release information about this situation and is where I got a lot of the information to make this video for as well. And also I'll be leaving links to all the other sources that I use to make this video as well down in the description below. On that note, I really hope you have a fantastic new year and that your 2021 can be better than 2020 has been. I'd love to hear 
any and all thoughts you've got as far as DJI being placed on this entity list. But with that being said, if you found this video interesting, make sure to let me know by clicking the thumbs up button down below as well as that circle subscribe button below, right below me, to subscribe and see future videos from me. And also check out my last video by clicking right up there and you can check out Billy Kyle's video right down there, which I found very informational about this topic as well. But with that being said, have a happy new year. Hope to see you in the next video. Peace.